Ah, the U.S. Many states within the vast interior of North America, plus Alaska and a smattering of islands in the ocean. Yet there's more to America than meets the eye. Many pieces of land are owned by the United States that aren't officially covered by the United States Constitution, known as territories. Today we're going to briefly discuss the national parks of each of these outlying territories, and discover how the National Park Service extends all across the world. Let's start with a territory that is actually located fairly close to the mainland of the United States, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is host to San Juan National Historic Site, a series of defense barriers and forts within the city of San Juan dating back to the time when the Spaniards first set foot on the island and fortified it to successfully repel invaders like the infamous naval general Sir Francis Drake. After changing possession to a few different nations, the fortifications eventually ended up in the hands of the United States and became a National Historic Site in 1949. Our next two sites take us on the opposite side of the world, on the Pacific Ocean with Guam's War in the Pacific National Historical Park and the Northern Mariana Islands American Memorial Park, both dedicated to the fighting of U.S. soldiers in the Pacific Theater during World War II. War in the Pacific shows the effects of the Japanese invasion of Guam following the December 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor, and tells the tale of how American forces recaptured the islands later during the fighting. The historical park is more than remembering the war, however. In addition to memorials, there are also several protected natural landscapes at the park, including coral reefs, bogs, and streams, to help ensure that Guam remains a place for visitors to enjoy in the future. The American Memorial Park honors those Americans and Marianas peoples who fought in the Marianas Campaign of the Second World War. Home to many native plants and animals, as well as memorials to the soldiers and civilians that lost their lives in those battles, it's a great place to visit for both human and natural history. Before we head to our last stop in the territories, it is worth pointing out the National Park of American Samoa on the American Samoan Islands, but if you would like to learn more about that unit, check out the card above for our in-depth video on the South Pacific Paradise. Our final stop on this journey through the American territories takes us to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Like the National Park of American Samoa, you can check out our full video about Virgin Islands National Park in the card above. The Virgin Islands, including the National Park, are known for their beautiful coral reefs. And speaking of coral reefs, Virgin Islands Coral Reef National Monument is located off the shore of St. John Island and showcases the sea life found farther off the shore of the islands. Queen angels and gray snappers are just two of the many species of fish that can be found navigating the seagrass beds and coral reefs of this amazing monument. Another fantastic reef in the Virgin Islands can be located at Buck Island Reef National Monument, just north of the island of St. Croix, which is home to small Buck Island that contains a few shore trails and the lagoons and underwater spectacles around it. The monument was created in 1961 and has been serving the people of the U.S. ever since. The final two territorial parks in the Virgin Islands lie on the island of St. Croix itself, the first being Christiansted National Historic Site, which provides a historical display that illustrates what life was like when the Danish ruled the Virgin Islands via a series of historic buildings, and Salt River Bay Ecological Preserve, home to some of the world's largest mangrove forests and diverse underwater environments offshore. So that was just a quick run-through of parks that have a whole lot of history and natural beauty within them, and perhaps in the future we will take a more in-depth look at some of these parks. But until next time, this has been RIC Adventures briefly covering the national park units of the territories of the United States.